This is a docking station with KVM that will allow us to connect up to two computers simultaneously to two displays at the same time. And then we can connect just one single keyboard, one single mouse, all the peripherals and accessories that we want, USB type C or USB type A. And with one single click of a button, we will be able to change from computer A to computer B without having to disconnect any of the cables here. And of course, we can also use this remote control here. It's top. Let's check it out. Now with the setup example for the docking station KVM, which will allow us to connect up to two displays, 4K at 60 Hertz maximum, and we will be able to control any of the computers. At this moment, I've got a laptop and a desktop mini computer, which I can use peripherals and share between them. So at this moment, I've got three displays that I can use. I was doing a speed test, but we will do it in just a few moments because we have a 10 gigabit uh, USB Type-C interface right over there. But at this moment, if I press this button, it will go and change everything to the desktop computer. The time that takes, it depends on the displays as well that we use. These displays are slow as we have tested in the past with other units. But the advantage here is that the peripherals that I have, keyboard, mouse, and so on and so forth, will pass to this computer so I don't need anything else just one kit of keyboards and mouse and that's it now by the way I have the SSD connected here which we will test in just a few moments the 10 gigabit speed but if I open here the PC we will see that I've got two internal uh, drives which are here and then I've got this one here which is the IFRO and it's an external connected via USB Type-C. So if I go to my laptop now, pressing this button or this button here on the docking station, what happens is that it will connect to my computer, the iFro SSD, which is this one here. So if I go to my computer, what I will see is that I only have one SSD uh, internal here, and this one is the external SSD. So I've got access to everything that I was accessing before on this computer, which is really, really cool. Now, if we do a test here, which I already selected the external SSD, which is this one here, I just press and then um, do a quick test and we will see that it will go up to 10 gigabit speed, more or less on the right, probably more 100 megabytes, but this is the limit. And here we are achieving roughly 950 megabytes per second, which is 10 gigabit speed. So if we want to transfer big files, this would be the connection that I would suggest. Of course, we also have these two fast connections here that we can also use to charge. I can also charge here a phone or a tablet or any other device. By the way, my computer is being charged at this moment. It's not a fast charge because the uh, charger that I do have connected is a slower charge. Charger, but if I connect a fast charge, then it will uh, fast charge the laptop. Nonetheless, it is, if we check here, 86%. So it's charging slowly, but it's charging. Uh, one more thing that I would like to mention is that we can uh, press here or here, but if we don't have a huge use for this, because the cable has about 50 centimeters or so, and it will be right over here, in my opinion, I would prefer to use it like this. Unless we do an extension connection, I would prefer to use it like this, and we can stop the speed test. And right now, if I want to change from PC2 to PC1, I can just press the button, and I will cycle to my desktop computer, which it's just a mini computer for the setup but we can connect a full-fledged uh, Windows desktop right over here with uh, GPUs and so on and so forth. Now, if I press the button once again, we will cycle to our computer too, and we have the indication LED right over here, which will show us that. In terms of connectivity, everything at the back, really straightforward, one HDMI uh, cable to each of the displays, and then we have one single USB Type-C that goes to this laptop. So if I disconnect that single USB Type-C, I will take the laptop with me, and then once I arrive, I just connect one cable, I will have access to all the accessories that I've got connected here, no worries whatsoever. Right over here, we will connect one USB cable plus the two HDMI outputs that will go to the uh, KVM. So three cables instead of one with the laptop, but it is a hybrid workflow. And the biggest advantage is that I will be able to use everything that I connect to the KVM docking station, peripherals and so on, on both machines without disconnecting and connecting cables. If you have a macOS computer like the MacBook Pro that I've got right over here with the M1 Pro 
uh, CPU. What happens is that it works everything fine. We can connect any uh, peripheral, including the mouse and keyboard and SSDs and whatnot. It will also charge, but this particular model only uses one display for the Mac computer. Actually, two displays, but this one is being mirrored. And as we can see, I can use the laptop display here, but when I put it here, uh, we only see one display available, although we have two. And this is a limitation on this particular model but i will try to leave a link down below just in case you are looking for a mac os setup but the only limitation that i did found was this one here which we can use the duplicated mode but there's no extended mode and it's really this simple we can just connect two computers one of which was a laptop and as you could see i was able to connect just one single usb type c cable to the computer and it will share the image data and whatnot i also used a mini computer as an example but we can use a full-fledged computer and we can also use two laptops in this particular case if i was to use a second laptop here i just require that my laptop has a usb type c port here and then two hdmi outputs on the laptop and if by any reason your laptop only has one hdmi there are adapters so with this docking station we can have another different scenario which is to have a computer that it's a laptop and that we can connect up to two hdmis plus a usb type c at the same time here where i did connect the laptop Top. If I want, I can connect also a desktop that has USB type C output as long as it's a full feature USB type C that passes data, power and so on, we will be more than fine. Actually, power for a mini computer, it's not required, only data and image. And for example, the mini computer that I did use and I did connect over the HDMI connections plus USB type C, that is one of the examples that I could use with one single cable, forget about the HDMIs and use only the USB type C. That is a totally compatible mini computer. So I could have two mini computers right over here or two laptops right over here or as we saw a desktop and a laptop hopefully this video was helpful and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one